Hello everybody and welcome to It Moves. This is a Steam horror game uh, that looked pretty good and it was free to play, so there's that. Um, and it looks very familiar. I don't think this is a new game. I think this is, I, I, I remember seeing this a, a few years ago. I don't know if this is like a full version or if they just re-uploaded it to Steam. Either way, I'm going to give it a try. It says, It Moves is a horror game that will try to scare you without too many of the typical screamers. Um, instead, relying on atmosphere and suspense. Uh, you'll be solving puzzles along the way and encountering all manner of not-so-friendly creatures. So, quite spooky. Um, how do I... There we go. Freaking hair on that. Ah, bedtime! Bedtime is supposed to be a happy event for a tired child. For me, it was terrifying. Uh, do children like bedtime? I feel like they don't. <laughs> like, in any sense. Like, kids don't like to go to sleep. And they don't like the dark. So... Uh, while some children might complain about being put to bed before they have, to, they have finished watching a film or playing their favorite video game, when I was a child, nighttime was something to truly fear. Somewhere in the back of my mind, it still is. Huh! Dear God, this is me. Oh, oh okay, cool. Huh. A poster from a movie. I got it from my brother. Cool. A teddy bear, Mr. Teddy. Full of toys and stuff. Oh, it's a wolf. I can't click on this nightlight. It's not in the correct grid. It's a bunk bed. I sleep in the top. Nice. A table. Well, this was fun. Oh. Huh. I can't, uh, I cannot prove that what happened to me, uh, was objectively real, but I can swear that I was experienced, what I experienced was genuine horror, sorry. Jeez, a whiz. I fear which in my life, I'm glad to say, has never been equaled. I will, re uh, relate it to you all now as best I can. Am I crazy or is this written weirdly? Um... Make of it what you will, but I'll be glad to just get it off my chest. Alright. Hey, what up, dog? Flowers! What'd it do? This is my father. Good. Shoes! Oh, God. <laughs> Can't remember exactly when it started, but my apprehension towards falling asleep seemed to correspond with my being moved into a room of my own. What up? Why does my house look so bad? It's not a great house. This is my mother. Okay. She likes to just stand in the room. Okay. A man with a mustache. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why she just stands there. That's a little weird. This is my brother's room. He told me yesterday to keep out of the room that we both had shared until then. Oop. I was eight years old at the time, and until then I had shared a room quite happily my older brother. As is perfectly understandable for a boy five years my senior, my brother eventually wished for a room of his own, and as a result, I was given the room at the back of the house. As my brother was given a new bed, I was given the bunk beds which we used to share. While I was upset about sleeping on my own, I was excited at the thought of being able to sleep in the top bunk, which seemed far more adventurous to me. Okay. Is this written weirdly? It feels weirdly written. Okay. Oh. I'm not controlling. But I just closed that door. Ha! Ah! Oh, God. Mom! Alright, it's bedtime. I didn't realize it said that. Already? Yes! Adults need their sleep, you see. You'll be sleeping alone for the first time. She said that really for the first time. Watch out! Are you excited? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just put this clown statue in the corner here. We'll get this show on the road. All right, I'm turning off the lights. Good night. Good night. Ooh, I don't know why she installed that spotlight that shines directly onto me at night, but okay. Chapter one, cave. Oh boy, I wonder if it's gonna be in a cave. Oh. Whoa! 
Um, save? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Ooh, here I am. What up, my dude? I can't... What the heck are you? I can't even interact with it. It's like standing on a tree. Ooh, well, this looks pleasant. Except for the slight flashing light. Um, why is there a hermit on... What is he doing up there? Uh, oh, well, this looks fun. Wow! Is that what I came through? It's got a fun noise. Huh. Well, that's sinister. A pot and some ragged cloth. Ooh, I wonder what's cooking. You splash and die. If this was one of those horror games. If it was a witch's house, then that's what would have happened. Is that... Stalking is such a strong word. I prefer to think of it more as intense research on one individual. By the way, you're missing Sokka's under your bed with me. Just kidding. Lol. Oh, man. Oh, what a joke. What a jokester. I'm feeling a raffle coming on. All right. Um, a cold, unwelcoming breeze comes from the... I better go down. There's nothing else for it. All right. Wow, this is uh, spooky. Weird mushroom. Looks poisonous. Was there... Hmm. Oh. I can't move. What was that? Oh, he's gone. That's creepy. Can I save it like any point? I can't. That's unfortunate. I can't move. Hello? Did the game just crash? Did the... I think the game just crashed. That's unfortunate. Right after I say I can't save, the game is like, Nope! We out, boy! Now there's a gray square in the corner. What is going on? Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! The valve thing has popped up. Hold on, I'm gonna close the game. I'm gonna restart the game. Jeez, a whiz. Why does that always happen to me? It's just like, it's perfectly timed, too. Alright, continue. Boom, okay. Not too difficult, we're back. What is that thing in the corner of the screen? Oh, it's just the Steam overlay thing is completely bugged out. Well, this is just going great. Alright, I'm just gonna... Just gonna continue on. I don't care about the stalker. I'm just gonna go. We're moving. Don't need to care about that. Just gonna keep going. Just gonna move. Just gonna go for... What is this? Purple mushroom, definitely poisonous. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was a thing. Uh, there's a red liquid seeping from the mushroom hat. Okay. Um, continuing on. Hmm. This is some weirdness happening here. What is this? It's just a dead end? Is there just nothing here? Great. Um, oh, okay. I thought I was... Oh, God, it's a stalker! Oh, God. It's just the stalker, everybody. It's cool. We good? Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I freaking did it. Ha! <laughs> you just make a little loop! Okay. Well, that's easy. What's down here? Nothing. I hope we get another save soon. Red li liquid? There's liquid in the cob. Okay. Ooh. Stop looking back. Dog? Ooh, this is sinister. Oh, this is a bridge. This is not good. I'm gonna die. Ah! What is that? God dang it! Ah, why you do this? Ah. Uh, oh, I don't like this. 
Okay. Oh, oh, I'm walking slowly now. Oh, that's good news. For me. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna move. Keep going. Walk forward. Oh, man. I would suggest moving quicker. I'm dead. He pushed me off the cliff. Did I die? I couldn't do anything but move forward. Oh. Boom! I had a bad dream. Ma! Ma'am! Oh. Ma'am! Am I still dreaming? It's locked. What up, my dude? Mom, I had a bad dream. Huh. Ree! Oh, no, okay. Sweetie, what's wrong? I had a bad dream. That's too bad. I'll be up in a minute and we can eat breakfast together. Alright. Go change your clothes and I'll be right there. Alright. I'm sure nothing horrible's gonna happen. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Alright. And so another day started. It was a day of little importance to our story. I won't bother with the details. The one thing I remember is that even though I played with friends like I always did, I somehow still felt lonely. I didn't enter my new room until later that night. It was time to go to sleep again. Oh, where should I go? Oh, can you tell me where to go? Oh my goodness. Should I go to the table? Or maybe the giant floating arrow? Alright. Good night. Hello? Is there a snooze button? Ha! Ah, I'm tossing and turning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chapter 2. Labyrinth. Okay. Oh, here I am in the labyrinth. Yes, I would definitely recommend... There we go. Oh, there's a button here. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, there's a sad face on the wall. Let's read this. Oh, I thought it was a note. Never mind. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what's going on now. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, is it one of these? There we go. Now they're both sad, so... I guess I lose the game now. Aha! I did it. Yeah! Alright, I'm here in the labyrinth. Here I am in my labyrinth. Um, there's demons about. And a corp. And a corp. What's that? I don't know. And a corp. And there's a corpse. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. That's a little sketchy. Oh, God! Dang it! Ah! It's still on the screen! I don't know if that's on purpose or it bugged out. <laughs> uh, it's still there! I, it's hard to see now. Because there's a freaking dude on the screen. Did it bug out? Or is this on purpose? Some kind of machinery. Oh! What the heck was that? Oh! Hello? There was a thing here. Would you get off my screen? Do I have to keep... Ooh, what is that? Okay. Uh, oh! Another freaking spooky shadow. A wanted poster. Great. How you doing there, demon? Ventilation, maybe? Uh, the air's a bit stoofy. Uh, ah, there you are. Rah! Is it gonna rah? No? A poster for some concert. Looks old. Okay. Um. Ah, there you are. Haha! -ha. Oh, I'm finding you quick this time. Whoa! Look at me! Meow! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so quick! I'm so speedy! I've gained the power of the demon! Uh, what is this? A fan! I'm not a fan of that. Anyway, um. Hold on. Boom! Is that it? Did I find them all? Nope. Ooh. 
Uh, this freaking demon face has got to take a chill pill here. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, got him. Uh, I can't freaking see anything, my dude. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, oh, it's coming into frame. There he is. Oh. Ree! It might. <laughs> Oh. When you awaken from a deep sleep to something moving or stirring, it can take a few moments for you to truly understand what is happening. The fog of sleep hangs over your eyes and ears, even when lucid. Something was moving. There was no doubt about that. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. Everything was dark, almost pitch black. But there was enough light to see light creeping in from outside to outline that room. It was a demon face! Two thoughts appeared in my mind. First was that my parents were in bed because the rest of the house lay both in darkness and silence. The second thought turned to the noise, noise which had obviously awoken me. That was it. Bed sheets rustling in the dark and someone breathing. As if someone disturbed, if some disturbed sleeper was attempting to get all too comfortable in the bottom bunk, trying to get a tight eight hours there. I lay there in disbelief, thinking what, uh, that the noise was either my imagination or perhaps just my pet cat finding somewhere comfortable to spend the night. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. It was then that I noticed my door shut as it had been as I'd fallen asleep. Perhaps my mom had checked in on me and the cat had sneaked into my room then. Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that. Yes, that must be it. Good night. I turned to the face of the wall, closing in my eyes. The vain hope that I could fall back to sleep. As I moved, the rustling noise from underneath me ceased. I thought it must have disturbed my cat, but quickly I realized that the visitor in the bottom bunk was much less mundane than a pet, trying to sleep, and much more sinister. As if altered, uh, alerted to and disgruntled by my presence, the disturbed sleeper began to toss and turn violently, like a child having a tantrum in their bed. Ree! I could hear the sheets twist and turn. Fear then gripped me, not like the subtle sense of unease I experienced earlier, but now, potent and terrifying. My heart raced as my eyes panicked, scanning the almost impenetrable darkness. I let out a cry. As most young boys do, I instinctively shouted on my mother. I could hear something stir on the other side of the house, but as I began to breathe a sigh of relief that my parents were coming to save me, the bunk bed suddenly started to shake violently as if gripped by the earthquake, scraping against the wall. I could hear the sheets below me thrashing around as if tormented by malice. I did not want to jump down to safety as I feared the thing in the bottom bunk would reach out and grab me. Pulled, pulling me into the darkness so I stayed there, white knuckles clenching my own blanket like a shroud of protection. The wait seemed like an eternity. What's wrong? Did you have a bad dream? How come... Oh, right. Cause why, why do I have a nightlight if I'm not going to use it? I cried and my mother consoled me. Tears of fear followed my relief streamed down my face. Yet through all of the horror and relief, I did not tell her why I was so upset. I cannot explain it, but it was as though whatever had been in the bunk would return e if I even so much as spoke of it. Whether that was the truth, I do not know. But as a child, I felt as if that unseen menace remained close, listening. Re Oh, sorry. My mother lay in the empty bunk, promising to stay there until morning. I remember the next day waiting, uh, wanting to go anywhere, be anywhere, but in that suffocating room. It was a Saturday, and I played outside quite happily with my friends. Although our house was not large, we were lucky to have a long, sloping garden in the back. Played there often, as much as it was overgrown, we could hide in the bushes. Ah, I hate reading. Ah, this is my nightmare. This is what it is. Ah, ah I hate reading. Climbing the huge <laughs> sycamore tree, which towered above all else, and easily imagine ourselves in the throes of a grand adventure. Maybe I just don't like reading out loud. As fun as it all was, occasionally my eye would turn to that small window in my room. Ordinary, slight, and innocuous. Innocuous? But for me, that thin boundary was uh, a looking glass into a strange cold pocket of dread. Outside the lush green surroundings of our garden filled with the smiling face of my friend. Inside the feeling of something in that room watching me play, waiting for the night when they would be alone, eagerly filled me with hate. Me. <laughs> a little strange to you, but by the time my parents ush uh, ushered me back into that room for the night, I said nothing. 
I didn't protest. I didn't even make an excuse as to why I couldn't sleep there. I still felt that this thing would be enraged if I so much as spoke of it. Another night came. Is it chapter three? The ring? I don't know why I'm stuck on that all of a sudden. Factorized? Okay. <sighs> oh, well this looks good. This looks fun. Well, if this isn't just a hoot and a half. A huge skull! Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, oh man, I think I actually have to end it. It's freaking... It's been 20 freaking minutes. Um... Let's, let's just see what's in the next room. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. A huge skull, really. Um, well, I can see where this is going. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, the game is on Steam if you want to check it out. It's actually really good. It's a really good game, at least so far. A um, little bit of voice acting to cut out that reading and, you know, top notch. I just don't like to read out loud because it's like, I don't know. Anyway, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit share, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Jeez.